Good up. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good good whatever to wherever you are. Welcome to lesson four of the Junior STEM coding unit, which I have entitled "Now You See Me." Part of the brilliant part of robots is is that we can put sensors onto them so that they can detect their surroundings. That way, we don't have to pr literally program in every single step by step. We can simply create some instructions so that the code will loop until something happens, until a sensor is tripped. That's partially how things like motion detectors work. Your mobile phone uses sensors all the time to, to detect things such as the gyroscope, the temperature, things like that. So what I've got here above me is I have a very simple code that says forever drive forward, except if the left bumper is pressed, remember that our robot has Set bumper sensors, so touch sensors on the left and right hand side of it, that if the left bumper is pressed, it turns right for 90 degrees. So the idea is if I press play, my little robot is gonna keep driving forward. It's just gonna keep driving forward, but the moment I hit the wall, it turns right and now it wants to get out of the way. And if I leave it to do that, it's basically just going to keep going and going and going. It's going to repeat it forever. All right. So as part of that, what we can do is we need to be looking at this light blue, light blue thing here with a, with a particular shape. If we go into sensing, we can see under here all the different types of sensing that's going on. So we could, for example, have the bumper. We could also use the eyes or the distance sensing. So what we could then do is combine those with operators to make a certain number of things happen so that we never ever, for example, collide with our wall. So if I if I bring up my, if I bring up an operator here, if distance in millimeters Always make sure that you've got your symbols the right way around. If the distance is less than 50 millimeters, turn right. So let's try and see what happens now. I'm gonna run my code. And now, never even touch the wall. So it never even touches the wall now. And now my code will keep going and going and going. So the idea is, is that we can use these if statements inside forever loops to control our robot so that it will drive around repeatedly until it interrupts something. All right, so your challenge or your goal for today is to take advantage of loops and we want you to be able to complete a whole loop of the playground without hitting anything but then I want you to take it a step further and combine these loops with other pieces of code, all right? Because what you've also got access to is a magnet. And if you, for example, open up Disk Mover, we have here a set of walls but what we also have, oh, we have a set of disks and you can use in here, front eye, down eye, because it's got an eye looking ahead and it's got an eye looking on the floor and it can detect the color of objects. So maybe what you want to try is have your robot drive around the field and watch what happens to the object color sections here and the bumper sensors to see what's going on. All right, because I assure you that what happens when you drive over it is there was a very brief moment there where it pops up to say it's true. All right. 
So it notices now it's only stuck in a little loop here. If I wanted my robot to follow along the walls, what might I have to do? That's something for you to think about. All right, thank you for watching.